Hello, this is my bridge movie. The core technology of bridges is structural. This is the manipulation of materials that can be used to shelter and support. There are four types of bridges. The arc bridge, which is one of the most oldest bridges. The beam bridge, which is one of the most basic type of bridges. The suspension bridge that covers very long distances. And lastly, the cantilever bridge that holds big loads. Looking at the truss bridges, there are three types. The Howe Bridge, which mostly uses wood in its construction, the Pratt Bridge, which was made as a railroad because of its good use of iron, the last bridge is the Warren Bridge, which is one of the most popular for its use of equilateral triangles to spread out lows on the bridge. The three types of roadways are pony, through, and deck. The pony truss is so low that overhead bracing cannot be used. The through deck is a bridge in which the roadway or track passes between the supporting elements. And lastly, the deck truss is when the supporting members are all beneath the roadway. There are four forces that act upon the bridge. The first is the tension force that is transmitted through a string, rope, cable, or wire. The second is the compression force when the object is squished. The third is the twist force, when the object is bent or turned into another shape. And lastly, there is the shear force, when a force acts in a perpendicular direction to the extension of the object. When designing the bridge, first I focused on making the vector works design, and then processed it on West Point Bridge to see how I could make it better. Then I started constructing both sides of the bridge with balsa wood. After gluing pieces together, I placed pins onto the board which connected the pieces together so they wouldn't separate while drying. After completing both sides, I cut 30 pieces of the wood into 1 and 1 fourth inches and connected the two sides with them. For the testing process, we had to put a wooden brick in the middle of the bridge and hook it up. I stood at the other end and pulled on a lever and the bridge broke. The load on the bridge forced the bridge to break. Throughout this, someone was recording the bridge and to see it break. The force that broke this bridge was torsion, which was twisting of the bridge. While making the bridge, I failed to make some parts even, which participated in how the bridge broke. Also, this bridge came out with a heavier weight of 33.3 grams and it wasn't able to hold enough. Instead, I could have used wood that was less weight and made the gusset smaller, which would have made the bridge weigh less. However, I enjoyed constructing this bridge and thank you for listening.